Small COVID-19 related deaths have spiked by over 100% in Hillsborough County just over the last week. But a leading health expert says indicators show we're actually headed in the right direction. Our Isabel Rosales joins us now to explain what's behind these new numbers. Let me first give you a bit of good news. Those other indicators you just mentioned, there are fewer people showing up at the hospital with flu-like symptoms. The positivity rate is trending down and the number of cases is starting to drop. Data presented to the Hillsborough County Emergency Policy Group shows 10,000 patients in the county have recovered from the virus so far. The positivity rate has gone down to just over 13%, still above the expert recommended benchmark of below 10%. Right now, the ICU bed occupancy is still high at 82% for any type of illness. We spoke with Dr. Charles Lockwood. He's the senior VP of USF Health and executive VP at Tampa General Hospital about an alarming figure in all this data. An average of nine people are dying in the county from COVID-19 per day. It's a 106% increase from the previous week. We asked Dr. Lockwood to explain, and he says the death rate is the most lagging indicator of how well we're doing in fighting the virus or not. It says that we had an out of control uh, epidemic here in Hillsborough County a month ago. So again, that's the most lagging indicator. So it's going to take another three weeks to, to, to begin to really see a, a substantial drop in deaths. But Dr. Lockwood warns now is not the time to ease restrictions. In fact, he thinks we're headed in the right direction, thanks in large part to the mask mandate, which takes weeks to see an impact. Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.